things happen for a reason everything happens for a reason and this is happening for a reason yeah it's a it's a weird situation hi guys welcome back to my channel today i thought i would do a sit down chit chat kind of real video it's just kind of like my story in 2017 like the things that have changed in the year and the things that i'm stepping in 2018 with a different path than I thought I was having. I want to talk about how I have been saving for traveling with my boyfriend for two years, but only last year he decided that he wasn't coming with me. So I'll start from the beginning. So obviously we've been saving for two years and it's been fine. We were both like getting really excited about it, but last year, probably midway through last year, I just said to him, you know, like we can we can start booking soon we can start booking our flight soon and i could just tell in his voice that he wasn't really he wasn't really into it now i'm not shooting him down for this because i completely understand why he's chose this path instead now it took a couple of months for him to finally just be like i think it's best i stay here look he's got a really really good job he's got his own house he's got a lot of responsibilities whereas i don't i've got a good job yeah but I don't have a house. I've got a car that is just like quite a cheap car. I just bought it as like a quick run around until I go away. I don't have the responsibilities of that, them big, the big amounts of money, whereas he does. So at first he was like, yeah, I'm really up for it. And then he's thought about it and he thought actually, you know, I've got a house and you know, yeah, we were thinking about getting some people in to rent it while he's away, but being the landlord is quite difficult because if anything happens while he's away, he's going to have to pay for it. So it's going to be big chunks of money that can just come out. And there's a lot of things to it, a lot of responsibilities, leaving your own house that you own to go travel the world. And then just what he'll be constantly worried about it the whole time. So it came to the conclusion that eventually he told me last year, it was like, look, you know, I've, I've got this and I feel like this is probably the best path I need to take. Now me, I was like, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna still have to go. We're so we're so in love, you know. We've been together over five years. We we know that when I go, it's gonna become a, a huge strain on our relationship. It will be very difficult to be able to keep a relationship with someone while I'm on one side of the world, he's on the other. And I was thinking of going for over two years or two years or more. So how do you come to that? you know agreement with each other is it worth staying together is it worth just like is it is it better to just you know be apart and and i just i know i sound i felt so bad when i was like look oh babe i i i'm still gonna go like i need i need to do this this is my dream this is my desire this is something i've manifested and i've saved so much for and worked so hard for i still need to do this and he completely agreed he's like look I'm never going to stop you from following your dreams and I know if I didn't go because he wasn't going then I would blame that on him for the rest of my life and I would, you know, but eventually when I have children and stuff I'm going to regret that. I didn't do it so I said I'm really sorry, like I, I feel like I'm letting you down and he said the same, he feels like he's letting me down and the reason we're both so cool about it is because we both know that it's something that we both need to do. We're both just taking our own paths in life and we thought the path was going to be together but now it's going separately so it's kind of like we're both trying to deal with it in our own way um you know we've had moments where we've had deep talks about it i've i said to him like you know i, I honestly think like you guys may think I, i'm horrible for saying this but i just said to him look babe i think it's best that we are separate when i go because it's not fair on him to be here and still doing his same routine and having to just sit there thinking what is she doing you know where is she he'll be constantly like worried about where I am and whereas I'm going to be constantly busy going out and exploring the world and it, it it's going to be hard for me because I'm going to be on my own I'm not going to know anyone whereas he's going to still be with his family and his friends and obviously I meet people like friends and stuff out there but it's not going to be the same as having that connection with someone like him and I just said I think it's probably best that you know we stay separate and you know, when we come back, if the sparks still fly, then we'll, we'll try and make it work again. But I don't, I don't want him to feel like he has to wait for me because it's just not fair on someone to, it's not fair to do that to someone. Plus like, I don't want to be that person who, if I do go out for two years, let's say, and I said, oh, I'm going to come back on this date. But as it got close to that time, I was like, I really, really want to stay out. I really want to explore this country. And I, because I, I, I'm at that age where I'm like, I just want to explore everything. I want to explore everywhere. I want to experience everything, you know. 
so I, I I can imagine I would end up going out there and going oh, actually I really want to go to this country and end up going there and you know it's just that I don't want him to feel that he has to be he has to wait for me like it's not fair at all so you know it's just it's just a weird situation to be in and you know we're both trying to we're just both trying to deal with it and it's weird it's a really weird like I don't know anybody that has been through something like this like the fact that we both know that you know this time next year I'm not going to be in the same country and I'm not going to be with him is something really weird do you know what I he he means the absolute world to me because for my boyfriend to let me do that is just amazing and we there's no one to blame here but ourselves like we're both doing this we're both choosing this path you know I can't be angry at him for choosing that and he can't be angry at me for choosing it and he he's just like he's just so sweet to to like understand why I why I need to do this and like the best advice I can give you guys but just appreciate like what you have now we were thinking is it worth us being together now but we're so in love it'd be stupid if we weren't and I was even thinking ahead oh I need to do what's best for us I need to you know make sure we're both happy and we're both okay and we're both going to deal with it okay when when I leave and but then I was thinking too far ahead and I wasn't appreciating him and what I have now and I wasn't appreciating you know everything that I've got in this moment and oh this is getting so deep it's you can probably tell in my voice that I I don't know how to kind of talk about it it's I just want you guys to know that if you do go through something like this please just just know if you have the dream to do something then just do it can you imagine if he came out with me and that wasn't his dream and he would have not enjoyed himself how he that would have affected him he's chosen to stay which is something that he has desired to do instead so the fact that he's actually gone ahead and done that which is takes a lot of doing a lot of guts then a fair play to him that's that's amazing that he has the guts to do that and the same to me the fact that i'm choosing to leave without him because it's my dream then i've got a lot of guts doing that we're both in love and we're both breaking each other's hearts and we both know that and it's just very weird like just just know that if something's meant to be it will be if you are meant to be with that person but you are going to separate from them for a very very long time if you are meant to be with that person you will come home and you will end up being back with that person if fate will bring you back together i always love the saying what's meant to be will be and like i said fate will fate happens in very strange ways and you know the universe chooses help guides you on your the righteous path like it guides you on the right the right path you should take and if you have that desire burning desire inside your heart to do something just do it just go ahead and do it don't don't let anybody stop you from doing that yes it's gonna hurt yes it's gonna be a challenge trying to deal with those emotions that you're gonna have i've got tons of emotions already inside me that i don't quite understand because i've not been through this before and it's hard but it's life throws so many challenges at you that you need like it's obstacles life throws obstacles at you that you need to leap over you need to go under you need to like, step to the side you need to let it pass you know you need to to deal with these things to, to get through your life life is going to throw so many different things at you and it teaches you so much about yourself i never thought in a million years that i would you know like a couple of years ago before i started saving I never thought in a million years I'd go on my own. I remember having this conversation with my friend on the bus. He was going over to Canada. And I said to him, I can't believe you're doing that. Like, it's amazing. I'd never be able to do it. But now I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be doing it on my own. I'm, you know, just please, like, appreciate everything that you have. You know, make the most of your time with that person. If, if you know that, you know, you're not going to be together in a couple of months because of, a reason of you leaving or just make the most of it don't leave on bad terms appreciate him appreciate her and just love everyone and everything as much as you can you know just be happy just try and move on and don't let that bring you down i've been brought down since i found out he wasn't coming there's been times where i felt really low and, and it's been i've not felt that low in a long time but then I've stopped and I've had a chat with him and I've it's made me feel better and you know um to make our situation easier 
I'm actually moving back into my parents because I live with him now, this is his house. I'm actually moving back into my parents in a couple of weeks. So we can deal with the separation a little bit easier. We're still gonna be a, together, we're still gonna be a couple, but we're not gonna see each other every day like we do living together because that separation of not being with each other every day is gonna help us move forward. He's gonna be able to get used to me not sleeping in the same bed with him every day, waking up to me every morning and going to bed with me every night, chilling out with me. Like we're still gonna see each other on the weekends probably and then maybe once a week in the midweek, but I think it may be just weekends because it will get us used to not being with each other every day and it might be a little bit easier when I do go. It might be easier for him. I would, I, I, all I want is for him to be happy. I just want him to enjoy his life and experience everything that he can that he wants and you know and I, I want to do the same thing and I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what he wants for me he loves me and I love him and we just want to we just want each other to be happy and I, honestly I could never fault him in any way for for being so understanding and he understands my situation and why I need to do this and I'm rambling and I'm not making much sense guys but seriously I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to help you guys and you know this is a this is a lesson from the universe you know things happen for a reason everything happens for a reason and this is happening for a reason I don't know what reason <laughs> a reason to follow my dreams yeah um but maybe this is what we need maybe we need this separation i don't know i don't feel like we need the separation and there is another thing as well the difference between me and him is the fact that he has his own house like he's he's young and he's got his own place he's got a really good job he's got a car you know he's 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 done a lot in his life and he's achieved some very big things that people his age haven't achieved yet and for me i don't feel like i've achieved much yet you know i feel like i've got so much more to give to the world so much more to learn and so and so i need to find my path i need to find what my my actual you know dream is i need to find myself <laughs> that sounds so corny but i just you know i i don't have anything like that you know like a house i don't i don't i need i need to find i need to do something big I need to achieve something big and I feel like doing this is something that I'm going to learn so much from. It's going to be such a um, an amazing experience. It's going to set me on the right path. It's going to make me understand who I really am because sometimes I do feel like I am different to other people. I feel mentally different. Like I have different views and different on, on life. I feel like I'm just becoming more and more spiritual and I don't, not many people understand that. Quite a few people I know don't understand that. I have a bunch of friends that do understand it, but I also have a bunch that don't. It's going to be such a spiritual journey, setting off, travelling the world on my own and learning about so much about myself, like stepping out of my comfort zone and learning so much more about myself that... I need this. I just need this, guys. You know, yeah. It's a, it's a weird situation. <laughs> I just, I just hope that in some way or another, I can help some of you guys understand. You know, if this is happening to you, understanding their point of view as well and yourself. Don't be angry with them for for choosing this. Don't be angry. I know it's hard, but don't be angry. Everyone has their own right to decide what they want to do. Everyone has their own right to achieve their dreams if they want to and if it means having to go through some serious heartbreak or some serious loss then that's just sometimes what it takes nothing in life comes easy everything comes with a sacrifice and you know it's something that sometimes you need to sacrifice things that you love so much to move forward in life and yeah i just hope you guys can understand that i hope i haven't rambled too much because i do fucking repeat myself but just I hope you all understand a little bit more about me, about what's been going on in my life. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's you've all taken something from this. And that's my goal. My One of my goals is to just teach other people and help other people get through life. and But in a nice way and appreciating people. I hope it helps people. Just I just want to help people get through things and life easier than... Life is not so hard, you know, 
it's it's challenging but it's worth living you know but yeah anyway thank you all so much for watching guys i really appreciate it if you're all the way here to the very very end thank you so so much i'm so grateful for all of you who watch my videos and support me it's just it means so much to me thank you so so much and i hope that you all have a fantastic day and i hope you all achieve the dreams that you desire and you're all happy with what you've got right now um thank you so so much guys please give this a like and subscribe it will support me greatly and i love you all so much thank you Mwah. bye bye